Hi, I'm Matthew Lapp, host of Matthew Lapp Train Guy Segment Show. Also today in this segment, I'm at the Rock Island Depot Railroad Museum in Fairbury, Nebraska, and continuing episode 22 with part two. Okay, I'm going to show you all the exhibits on the main floor, and I'm going to actually revisit them as I did in part one of this episode. So I'm going to get behind the camera and show you all inside. So here we go. Okay, so here we go inside the waiting room. And this looks like a lot of books on this table and a lot of old timetables in this case. Hats and punches. And also here's some hats and ticket punchers and decals and such. In this case, there's some more on this table right here. South Central Industry District. Whoa. Let's see all these pictures. Can I put this on the wall? These benches are from the Burlington Depot in Lincoln. Here's a modern day private crossing sign. Here's also a hat, conductor hat from Rock Island Railroad. Some glassware. Uh, Look at that map. This is the map of Fairbury. Nice steam engine. If you want to pause and read that, feel free to. You can see clearly. And there's a suitcase. And look at all these. In this case, hard hats and I wonder what these brass things might be. Looks like candle holder or some kind of things. Hannibal and St. Joseph. In Union Pacific, which the Union Pacific owns these tracks out here now. And here's some old pictures on this. Pretty cool to see all these. You can see there were racks and such. And also, Looks like a streamlined diesel used on the rocket, and the doodle bug, like the one outside. Steam engine. Mm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and also. Pretty cool seeing all these. Ooh, looks like I can't move up this. The depot that we're in. Pretty cool. This looks like all Fairbury back in the day. Pretty cool. And there's a switch engine that served here in Fairbury. And engine 960, which looks like a Pacific. And here's the end of it. That's a vehicle used for track inspections. And yeah. Here's some hats that are for sale, actually. And here's a timetable. Look at these, in this case, switch locks and belt buckles and kits. Donated by Mike Austin, Austin family. And here's some mugging cups. Donated by Mike, as well as some glass. Yeah, I wonder what this oh, William D. Hambell. Yeah, looks like a safe. This is this replica caboose was donated by Larry Six Al State. And there's some china plates and teacups. And also, look at these. Donated by Danny Medina. And donated by Mike Austin. Play cards, spikes, and shot glasses. And there's a model of the motor car. That's the one outside. And 
that's what it looked like before it arrived here. There's a model of it. And also, look at this grandfather clock. This is the access to the elevator. Look at that scene. And that's it. One of the other benches. So, look at these in this case, on the wall. And that's, and here's a caboose with a wagon chassis. Yeah, and here's a conductor, an engineer mannequin. And that's all the exhibits he's, oh wait, hold on. There's more back here. This portable wall thing, whatever you call it. And all these in this case, old uniforms, a metal trunk, and all this on this wall. Pretty cool. And yeah, that's all there is. Hey. And that's officially all there is to see that I showed you. What you see right behind me is Chicago, Rock Island, and Pacific 9047. Chicago Rock Island and Pacific 9047 was built by Electro Motive Division in LaGrange, Illinois, and the St. Louis Car Company in St. Louis, Missouri in 1927, and is the 1416th one built by Electro Motive Division, and the 197th one built by the St. Louis Car Company and is a doodle bug motor car. The car started out as just an ordinary passenger coach. It was rebuilt by the Chicago, Rock Island, and Pacific Railroad shops as a doodlebug motor car. This car was used to haul passengers and even haul baggage, and also, this car spent several years serving the Chicago, Rock Island, and Pacific Railroad as well. Then it was retired, and it was then moved to Hebron, Nebraska, which replaced the original Hebron train depot and used by the Chicago, Kansas, and Nebraska Railroad and was destroyed by a tornado in 1953 and the car body was taken off its original trucks and the interior was completely gutted. Then it was moved to Deschler, Nebraska, where it was used as a coil laundromat in 1960. Then in 1990, Pete Huffman acquired the car and he used it as a storage shed. Then Mark and Deb Craig bought the car when they bought Huffman's place and the couple donated the car to the Rock Island Depot Railroad Museum in Fairbury, Nebraska, where it was getting cosmetic restoration performed on it. Presently, it is about 50% complete and is awaiting to be fully complete. Today, it is on display outside the former Chicago, Rock Island, and Pacific Depot in Fairbury, Nebraska, as it is on display at the Rock Island Depot Museum in Fairbury, Nebraska, where it is today. Also, it is the only remaining doodlebug motor car from the Chicago, Rock Island, and Pacific Railroad, and it sits on freight car trucks as well. One day it will be repainted with the red and silver paint scheme as it was before as well. What you see right behind me is the Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy Kesterton Depot. The Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy Kesterton Depot was built in 1882 and was originally located in Kesterson, Nebraska. Although the town of Kesterson no longer exists, this depot was used for passenger service many years ago where they would wait for trains to arrive and even sit in the waiting room while waiting for a train to arrive. Although this depot is pretty small, 
the town of Kesterson was small in a rural part of Nebraska. In 1927, passenger service discontinued at this depot. Former Jefferson County Sheriff Frank Kowakin bought it and he used it as a hay storage building. In 1997, Frank moved to Washington, Kansas and the Washington Railroad Club, which later was defunct, acquired it and restored parts of the depot. Then the club decided to disband the depot. It was soon offered by the Chicago, Rock Island, and Pacific and Depot Railroad Museum in Fairbury, Nebraska, who agreed to rescue it and was later moved to this spot where it sits adjacent to the former Chicago, Rock Island, and Pacific Depot, which is now the Rock Island Depot Railroad Museum in Fairbury, Nebraska, where it can be seen today. Well, I hope you all enjoyed learning about trains with me today in Matthew Lapp Train Guy segment show. Also, I hope to see you all again in the next segment. And if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet, the subscribe button is just down below the video screen. And if you didn't give the Facebook page a like yet, here's where you'll want to go. And if you didn't give the Instagram page a follow yet, here's where you'll want to go as well. Also, be sure to get your merch at teesprings.com. I'll have the link in the description box below along with the Facebook and Instagram pages. And remember to subscribe to the Train Guys. So this is Matthew Lapp, host of Matthew Lapp Train Guy Segment Show. Sign out until next time. All aboard.